This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to some more Conan Exiles tips. Today I'm going to show you how to get a thick hide and harden leather. Okay, so let's get to it. The first thing we need to talk about is location, location, location. If we take a look at where I'm at on the map, I'm right up here in this like savanna area. I guess it's called the Crown Grove. Uh, so we're right up in here, we're right on the edge of it right uh, on the little patch of trees and stuff. So we're gonna zoom in so you can get a good look at it here, right here in the middle. Okay, uh, you'll know when you're at the right spot because you'll start to see a bunch of rhino spawn. So rhino spawn, well, there's one right there, right in there, and they spawn over there and right there, and just generally all around this area here. Rhinos are what you wanna kill. They are going to get you the thick hide and the rhino hide, which for every rhino hide you get is is actually too thick hide. Okay, so now I have a trick for killing these guys, uh, and it works for pretty much at any point in the game. If you can do a little bit of damage to these guys and get past their their armor, if you got a decent weapon, you can totally can totally do this. So I just have a plain old steel spear here and this is what I'm going to be using to kill them and we're going to be using a uh, handy little technique here so you can see I have this uh, area here of the uh, fence foundations I'm going to show you how to create this real quick and then I'm going to show you how to use it so we're just going to come up right over here at this area right here and uh, we'll just rebuild it right here so I just have a, a bunch of insulated uh, wood fence foundations and honestly uh, you don't have to use the insulated wood you can use whatever you prefer you could use the sandstone if you want you're just probably gonna have to repair the sandstone a lot more often than the uh, insulated wood or, or something above it so what we're gonna do is uh, just grab one foundation like so I'm gonna hold down the shift and roll my mouse button forward that's gonna pull it up out of the ground like you see here and then we're just going to place it like so next thing I'm going to do is uh, activate the fence foundations and then we're gonna snap one to the side like that and then you should get the other one to snap to the side like that see how it did that and then we're gonna go out one more like so and then we're going to connect the other ones like this and then we're just gonna go out around now what you can do if you want to make sure that it's perfect is go all the way around and it might be a bit of a pain in your butt and then you want to build another one like so and then you can go ahead and connect them like that so I would connect that around and then you can do the same thing here and you'd probably for all this marking you'd probably want to use sandstone anyway something that's not that expensive to get a hold of and then we're just going to and it can be a bit finicky once you get going because it's going to want to snap everywhere but then you can just start destroying the inner parts so we can get rid of that we can get rid of that and now we can continue and it should snap there it goes and then all the way around like that and then you're just going to continue to do that all the way around so we'll do another one here go out two and then square it off and then same thing here bam done same thing here like that there you go now you can destroy all of this inside just place another one like that and essentially what you're doing is you're creating a, an area where they can't get through but you can get through so like like so now we have plenty of room in here that the rhinos cannot get to us we can move around we can keep them now the one that I created over here is actually only uh, one away from the foundation that one that we just created there is two I did that on purpose so that you could see the the difference in them and see how much room you have to work with so depending on what you want to use is good but when you get more than one rhino around here you do take a chance of being hit in this one but anyway so let's take a look at how this works so what you want is a bow any old bow any old arrows it doesn't matter you're simply going to use it to kite the rhino so then we're just going to run up to him like so and we're going to hit him and he's going to charge and we're going to run just make sure that we continue to cut oh there he goes he's charging he's a charging so we're going to continue to run is he still on us nope here he comes so just keep pecking at him till you get him to come at you 
Now, that's it. To hit these guys, you want to use a spear. Uh, the spear works the best because it keeps distance between you and them. So you can just kind of poke him in the face like that. See that? And then he's going to attack. Keep your distance. The, the reason you want to use the spear is because you outmatch his reach. He does have reach. He can hit you. I'll get a little, little bit here. See if we can get his attention. Are you going to do anything? You might be stuck. This also breaks the AI a little bit. So you can see... Oh, maybe he can't hit me there. Oh, and then we're just inside of him. I don't know. He might be a little glitched. Are you glitched, buddy? You can get hit from here. They do glitch through the walls uh, and can hit you. But uh, yeah, so this is it. This is all you can do. You just sit here and you just spear them in the face in the safety. If you need to roll back, you can roll back. You don't have any problems there. And the reason I say to do this is because when you're in your early levels, you may already have a reason to get the thick hide and it may be difficult. And I, I mean, I think it's deal it's at that point you need the thick hide um i can't exactly remember but you i remember i needed it before um i could take these guys on uh, easily and now this this makes it easy to do that so i would say probably at 30 you could take these guys on with no problem even if you're not specced for tank using this method so and then we can just keep poking like this because the other situation that you run into if you don't do this method is these guys can be a little tricky because they will run into you they will um get you'll get stuck inside of them and you can't roll out easily and uh yeah you can die pretty easy so i'm going to show you that here so if you're taking one on and you roll you yeah and now we're out of stamina so we might be a little screwed here and you can see they gore you. If you get hit by their charge, they will actually fling you backwards and knock you on the ground. I'm trying to get him to actually, there you go. So you, they'll do that. And uh, he's actually being, oh, there you go. There's the charge. And you can see that I was kind of stuck under him for a second. So they can be pretty deadly. They, they really can. And uh, you know, on lower levels, they can definitely kill you really quickly. So you just do this. This is so easy. It's a perfect and easy way to just farm these guys in complete and total safety because they can't get to you. And as the uh, walls get damaged, you can just easily replace them um, or fix them. And these thicker walls here, these um, insulated walls, have an absolute ton of hit points, and these guys do not do much damage to them. So I'm about to show you that here. If we swap over to the hammer here, hit six, and you can see, I mean, look at that. This thing's taken a beating. I was testing it out. This is the same one I've been testing for a while. Next thing you wanna do after you do that is make sure you have a skinning knife. Uh, actually be able to drag the skinning knife to where you want it. So we're gonna drag the skinning knife over here and we're gonna hit these guys like so with the skinning knife. Okay, so now let's talk about how to turn that into the actual leather and how to get the hardened leather. So I got a little setup over here to show you. Uh, we have the armorer's workbench. Do not put the rhino hide in your tannery. Bring it to your uh, armor workbench first and we're gonna type in hide and then we're just gonna look for it on here. It's right here. Now watch this, if I click craft, I get two. So for every one of these, you get two thick hides. I just wanna clarify something real quick. The reason I say to do this first instead of just putting the rhino hide directly into your tannery, and this goes with any of the special hides you get, so like you can get the panther pelts and stuff like that, uh, is because by separating them first and then putting them in your tannery, you actually increase the amount of tar that you get. If you just put the hides directly into your tannery as is, you will still get too thick leather. However, you will only get one tar. Using this method and separating them first allows you to get double the amount of tar. So you're gonna do that with all of them. You just click, click that and then just click craft all 100 of them just like that. Then you wanna take that over 
to your uh, tannery and drop that in and let that craft into the uh, thick leather. So then once you have the thick leather, you're gonna bring that over to your improved armor's workbench. Now, you're not gonna get this till you're level 60. So don't even worry about it till you're level 60. Once you're level 60, come over here to your armor section. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the uh, Exile Epics. You're gonna learn that one right there. And if you scroll down to the bottom here, you can see that you also learn layered fur, layered silk, and hardened leather, along with the improved armor's workbench. So then you have your improved armor's workbench. You're going to need the thick leather, and you're gonna need normal leather. I'm assuming at this point you already know how to get normal leather and just kill pretty much anything, use a skinny knife on it. Really simple stuff. Uh, you are also going to need alchemic base and you can get that in the, uh, the cauldron here and you are going to need to learn the potions. So let's go over here, search EOTIO and right there it is, Potion Maker. That's also going to give you the improved Fireball Cauldron. However, you don't need that in order to make the Alchemic Base. You can make it in a normal one. In order to make the Alchemic Base, you are going to need two Silver Dust, one Gold Dust, and two Icker. Icker is extremely easy to get a hold of. I actually have a video showing you how to farm that stuff. Really easy to farm. It's renewable, easy to get a hold of. Uh, gold and Silver, on the other hand, I have a video to show you where the silver locations are and I'll have one for gold here soon if you're watching this in the future just check out the uh, the link in the description uh, it's to the playlist of the tips videos it may already have that gold video in there anyway uh, so once you add the alchemic base and the uh, leather and the thick leather it's right here it's gonna cost you two alchemic base per one of each of the leathers and craft it up and bam there you go that is how you get hardened leather so that's it from start to finish pretty easy to uh, farm like I said if you want a nice easy Easy go at farming. I mean, you can fight these rhino straight on if you want to you saw it's not crazy difficult to do you can actually you can do it with a shield if you want as well you can do it with a spear whatever you prefer to do but using the method of the wall makes it a far sight easier especially if you run into like two of them and you got two rhinos charging at you at one time it can get a little it can get a little hairy and they will both charge you they are not a peaceful creature they do have an aggro range and they will come at you Okay, so that's all I have for you in this video. If you liked what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreons, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.